Hi everybody, welcome to the Q Team Collective Exhibit 2020-2021. This year's exhibition theme is Folklore and Mythology and that was 100% developed by the youth in the program. This is an accumulation of the, the visits that they've had in the fall and also the artworks that they've made in the spring. The Q Team Collective is a 10-month visual arts immersion program where young people in grades 10 through 12 have the opportunity to experience New York's fine art world through in-person visits to cultural institutions and also guest visits to here in the Q Gallery. Students meet art world professionals like artists, curators, conservators, gallerists, dealers, art advisors, critics, and fine arts journalists. It is a program that has on average 20 young people per year and we meet once a week. We start off the program in the fall. We interview students individually and we kind of get to know them. They show us their portfolio, what they've been working on in their own time or if they attend a specialized art school, what they've been doing in school. The students are really doing so much of the thinking and brainstorming behind like all aspects of the exhibition. We had the majority vote for folklore mythology, so we went with that as the concept or the subject matter for the exhibition. And out of that, students create individual series of artworks based upon their own interpretation of the overall subject matter. Students also are trained in how to write their own biographies, artist biographies, artist statements. We have them write work captions so that they're archiving and documenting their work. And then we teach them a bit about art installation and art handling. And pre-COVID, we'd have them install their own work in the gallery, supervised by myself, Phyllis, and an outside hired arts handler, as well as Q staff. But this year, due to COVID concerns and sort of safety compliance, we didn't have them come and install, but we gave them an in-depth lesson on packing um, so that we can make sure that we got the work here and that it was nice and gallery ready. I think today's opening is really exciting because after two whole semesters of being in Zoom classes with them and seeing them every week, we're finally seeing them, and they're also seeing each other for the first time. I'm sure their parents are so excited to see what they've been up to in this online class for, for the whole school year. We're both really excited to finally meet them, see them in person, hear them talk about their work in person. It's just going to be really special. I'm Meher Kapoor. I decided to draw about um, a mythological creature from the Balkans called the Samodiva. She highly values her liberty, her, her independence. She's like a supernatural being and she lives in the forests. If a man or if someone takes her veil, she'll be stripped of all her powers, her independence and her liberty. She'll be attached to them and forcefully wed. My experience was great. Um, Phyllis and Amanda were very engaging. They were, everyone was like really nice. It was, I learned a lot. Um, I'm Gabriella Isidore. I'm 15 and I go to Leona M. Goldstein High School. A lot of people don't know about Medusa's story is that she was uh, sexually abused. People view her as the villain because the fact that she wasn't able to keep her like virginity and Athena punished her. In this piece, she's protecting all the people that were sexually harassed or abused. And she's like with a sword and people are passing by her, but she's a center of attention. I've never done anything that's really that powerful and represents that type of idea. It was really fun and really interesting because I got to learn about different artists and their different techniques and how, to, how they created their own art pieces. And a really big thanks to Phyllis and to Josephine and to everyone in Q because without them I wouldn't be able to be here today. It's amazing. I've been sit studying in my room. I have school online and finally to come out and like, you know, especially for your own piece being out. It's insane and really fun and liberating. <laughs> My name is Luca. I'm a junior at the NYCI school and I'm 17. I was really interested in the theme of like mythology and I thought that I would like take inspiration from some assignments we did at the beginning of the year where we would take um, a piece of art and kind of do our own spin on it. I wanted to represent how different versions of myths and moderns interpretations can like coexist and not everything has to 
have the same meaning for everyone. Um, it was a really great experience. I love seeing everyone else's art here in person for the first time. And it was great to just be in a community of people where you could bounce off ideas. The critiques were so helpful and just like honest opinions that really helped me. The goal of the program is to also expose students to just a variety of different art career paths that they can take because I think mostly in high school they don't really know that you can also be a art handler is one of them. You can also work in TV production or you can do photography or there's also printmaking. Curation, curation. So we sort of expand the idea of what it means to work in the art world beyond the idea of just being an artist or a curator. The arts world, it's an area of life and an industry where one's able to sort of chart and create and develop their own path based upon their skills their network, their portfolio. So we want them to also understand the economy and the way in which currency and money flow through the art world because they do in multiple ways at different levels and also to combat the sort of ubiquitous starving arts myth because that's something that just a lot of people in society have about practicing artists and people that work in the art world and cultural workers. Seeing art history as a young person had a huge impact on me. It's different than reading about it in a textbook or seeing it in a PowerPoint slide. And I figured we're in New York City, which is one of the capitals of the art world. Why not show and expose and immerse young people in the art world so they get to see it for themselves? We also take students to auction house, to fairs, so they really get to see how art is actually sold, as well as understand how do I hang my work on a wall? How do I write a statement? How do I present myself as an artist? We try to fit a lot of different aspects of art making, art practice into a 10-month program.